Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis, and this, in this video I want to go over my top picks for perks and things that I'm looking for for the dawning weapons. Now, I'm in d2gunsmith.com, literally that's the website, d2gunsmith.com, so go check it out, it's a nice way to explore, great perk breakdowns, love this thing. Uh, we're going to start with Pulse Rifle, uh, this is basically a 450, it's an Ogma, if you've had an Ogma in stasis form. Usually for pulse rifles, I'm going for range and stability. I'm on mouse and keyboard, so I'm going to try and get that combination of range and stability, ricochet rounds. If you end up with high caliber, armor piercing, light mag, those are decent options. Controller may want more stability. Mouse and keyboard may get more benefit out of range. With regards to the perk options, though, you've got tunnel vision because you get a benefit from reloading. That can pair well with Desperado or Kill Clip. That's going to be pretty good. Uh, moving target kill clip could be an option. Um, golden tricorn going to get you 15% damage on a kill. So that's not too bad. Encore now has the stacking. When you get precision kills, you get a range stack on non-precision kills. You get a stability stack, probably helping you get that range kill back. Headstone though, probably what I'm looking for, honestly. So if it's like encore headstone or tunnel vision desperado, does have adaptive munitions though. Now that's one of those just in general, if you have adaptive munitions and probably any decent combination of perks, it's nice to have an adaptive munitions pulse rifle. Now it's not enhanced adaptive, but it is a stasis pulse rifle, which kinetic slot and pulse, pulses are used for champions a lot. Adaptive munitions, sometimes you just need a way to be able to deal with shields to make your loadout a little more efficient. This is a nice way to do that if you want it. But there's some pretty good options with some reload combos. And then Encore is going to be fun with a little bit of damage boost. Headstone, if you find one with Headstone, though, and a decent other set of perk combinations, have fun with that because, like, Moving Target gives you a little aim assist. Um, Well-Rounded gives you some damage. Some decent options in here, but honestly, just something you'll have fun with. I think more of the Tunnel Vision, Desperado, or Kill Clip will be good. Uh, Encore, just for getting those stacking kills, plus Headstone, kind of really nice stacking damage, or Golden Tricorn. All pretty good options. I just like the way the 450 pulses feel, especially like an Ogma, so Stay Ferocity is going to be pretty similar. We got the Zephyr. Not very many Stasis Swords. There's like one, I think this might be the only one. Relentless Strikes, main thing that you're looking for. Like whether it's Honed Edge, Jagged Edge, Tempered Edge, not a big deal. Most of this doesn't really affect, because I don't think a lot of people block with swords. If you do... Everybody still seems to want Swordsman's Guard, so that's what I would do. Over here, Relentless Strikes is going to be the key. Every three light hits, you're going to get ammo back, so that's kind of a good way to go. Not really going to be going around killing a bunch of enemies with swords, generally, but that's just me. Pair this with Whirlwind Strikes, and you sit there and wail on a, on a, on a target. Now, if you have a lot of enemies to kill for some reason, Unrelenting and Chain Reaction, killing enemies gets you some health. If you kill them, they explode, stay alive. Could be fun, but probably not my top pick. Vorpal is only 10% anymore. Honestly, Relentless Strikes and something like Cold Steel is a combo I really, really want because this will apply 40 slow stacks per light hit. Three light hits, you get one ammo back, and then you also have that full slowing effect at 100 stacks, so they basically freeze. It's a nice way to keep things kind of in check. So Relentless Strikes and Cold Steel, that's one of the combos I'm definitely looking for. If you get that, hold on to it for sure. Cold Front, more of a PvP weapon, trying to get some range, some stability, so Range Finder alone will give you a little bit more zoom, kind of pushes out the range effectiveness. Tap the Trigger, also going to be good in that department, or Perpetual Motion, if you're moving around in PvP, which are going to be anyway, both of those are going to be good options. Range, trying to push this thing out to be as effective as far as possible. Maybe you want some stability if you're on controller. If you don't care as much about stability, they do feel pretty good on mouse and keyboard. Range would be my go-to there. So small bore, some stability and range, not giving up too much there. Recoil is already 92, don't really have to worry about that. Accurized rounds is your 10 range that you're going to get. If you end up with something like Tactical Mag, some stability, reload speed, little magazine, it's kind of like my second okay option. But Accurized rounds for the range push is probably my benefit. But if you end up with like... Oh no, I've ended up with corkscrew rifling and tactical mag. You get some benefits from both of these that you're not getting pure range, but still going to be pretty solid. But again, mostly PvP, I think, on this one. Perpetual motion, tap the trigger with rangefinder. That's kind of what I'm really looking for. Glacioclasm, this one's all about just having some fun with a big fusion rifle. High impact frame, so it's going to have a slow charge time. Recoil on my loadout right here, pretty vertical. So that's because I put on a counterbalance stock. Normally it's sitting at about 78, but if you go counterbalance, it's at 93, gonna be very vertical and kind of tight pattern. 
Stability and range, just to kind of push it out a little bit farther, has some benefits there. Now, depending on what you're messing around with, if you want the biggest damage you can possibly get, liquid coils, you'll be sitting maxed. If you want it to charge a bit faster, accelerated coils will help, and then if you go charge time, you'll bring it down even more. The fun combination with this one is gonna be subsistence and reservoir burst. And when your magazine is full, you have all seven in there, you're gonna do 25% more damage, and if enemies explode, well, pair that with subsistence. So therefore you probably killed an enemy, you cause things to explode, you may have killed more than one enemy, you've reloaded your magazine, so then your next shot is gonna have reservoir burst all over again. So that's gonna be a fun combination personally. Uh, Repulsor Brace, also kind of a good thing now, overshields granting a big damage mitigation boost. Um, so if you do have Repulsor Brace, you get some multiple kills with something like that. I could see that being a fun option to whip out, just kind of like mow down a couple of ads, delete them, and if you get a debuff on those, whether you throw a, you know, throw a shield, hit them with a melee, whatever it is, volatile, who knows. But if they have a debuff on them, get yourself an overshield as well. As for other combinations, I don't even know, like under pressure and high impact reserves, kind of maybe, but then you got to get to the bottom of the magazine. That takes a little while. It's not a bad PvP option, but again, it's going to take forever to charge and you might just get killed. So just kind of a tight little couple options I'm looking for in here. Nothing too exciting on the big heavy fusion rifles, though. They just took too long to charge generally. Avalanche, those got some fun. Now on this one, it's a machine gun. So whether you want range or stability might depend on your input method. If you go stability, gonna be nice sitting there, range, push it out a little farther. Probably stability though. If you're going for some damage, might be reasonable. Counterbalance will take you up to 85, make it a little more vertical on the recoil. If you're okay with the recoil, you know, put it into some damage on champions or whatever it may be, depending on what mods are for the season. Range and stability. And range and stability on this one just kind of pushing it out farther. If you want something like armor piercing rounds, 5% damage against combatant shields. Bullets are able to over penetrate enemies once. Kind of gives you that nice option of a little bit more PvE functionality there. So if you go that way, then you're looking pretty similar. Then you might need to lean a little more into the range stat just to make things feel. Or stability, I mean, if your range is the one that's getting the higher. Now, fun combinations. You've got dynamic sway reduction and target lock. This is going to allow you to improve accuracy and stability while holding down the trigger. Damage increases the longer you remain on target. So keep firing at that same target. You're going to do more damage. I think it maxes out at like 40% I've heard. Then you've got subsistence and incandescent. Getting kills, causing targets to explode, getting more ammo back in the magazine, getting a nice... This is going to be like an amazing ad clear for a solar build. It's going to be a ton of fun. Auto-loading holster with probably something like Adrenaline Junkie um, or even incandescent. Just because you pull the weapon out, it's ready to go. Incandescent, mow down the ads, cause them to explode, put it away, do whatever else you gotta do. It's ready for you in a few seconds, two and a half seconds, you're good to go again. I mean, if you get Adrenaline Junkie as a backup, you can stack it up to like 33% damage. That's gonna be pretty effective. Um, Swashbuckler, similar, depends on your preference. I just like Adrenaline Junkie personally. Vorpal, just doing the 10%. I think you've just got better options here than Vorpal in my opinion. Cascade point, final blows or sustained precision hits with another weapon will increase this weapon's rate of fire. I just don't know if that's going to be like insanely effective because it only lasts for a couple of seconds. So it's cute, but I haven't found a great function for that yet, personally. But yeah, overall subsistence and any of the damage perks I think is going to be fun. Um, dynamic sway reduction, if you get target lock might be a nice one, but subsistence with a machine gun could be fun. Auto loading and target lock, so you just bring it out dump your magazine, switch over to what you're doing, and the longer you keep on target, the better. Those are the main weapon perks that I personally am going for. Um, <clears throat> again, this website's amazing, d2gunsmith.com. If you've got weapon loadouts, whether it's PvP or PvE, let me know in the comments below. I'm curious what you guys are looking for on these weapons. Stay Ferocity feels good. Zephyr Sword, don't sleep on it, because again, not a whole lot of Cold Steel options out there for a sword. And then, of course, Avalanche, I think you can have some fun combinations. If you can somehow trip into these two perks, that's one of the main ones I'm going to be looking for for a machine gun with incandescent and subsistence. That's just an ad clearing dream. So if you guys enjoyed this one, drop a like below. You can find me over on Twitch or Twitter at Ebontis. And if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and the alert bell. Helps my videos make it to you through YouTube. And I hope to see you in the next video. If you guys are YouTube members or Patreon subs, thank you for the extra support. You guys are all fantastic. Enjoy, and I'll see you soon.